The best highlights across Northeast Wisconsin. This is Friday Night Blitz with Brandon Kennard. The NBC 26 Friday Night Blitz rolls into week six. Thanks for being with us on this fine Friday night. I'm Brandon Kennard and let's get right into the action. A major matchup at the top of the Northeastern Conference as seen on Sports Showdown. It's Little Shoot coming in two and one in the NEC hosting three and oh Fox Valley Lutheran. First quarter, here come the Foxes. Liam Hyges juking some guys out and drags a defender into the end zone. FBL takes a 7-0 lead. They added another to make it 14-zip. Little shoots QB, he can run a little too. Charlie Vandenberg off the play fake. There he goes. 48-yard touchdown run. Pulls the Mustangs within a score. Ensuing FBL possession, Hyges. Through the air, looking deep, and watch this catch. David Schumacher, wow! Incredible hands. They would punch it in to go back up 14 a few plays later. Then second quarter, high just over the middle to Trenton Hine. A lot of space for the big man, who's going to rumble all the way inside the five. That leads to another FBL touchdown. The Foxes hang on to win, staying perfect in conference play. Here's Tyler Joe. All right, thanks a lot. Brandon here with senior quarterback Liam Hyges. Liam, four touchdowns out on the field tonight. What happened? Oh, it was great blocking tonight by the whole team. It was a team game. Everybody everybody did their part, and we, we got the job done. You, you know, you weren't part of uh, the game against Little Shoe last year because of, because of your injury. So you saw the game on the schedule tonight. Did this game mean something extra special to you? Um, yeah, everybody was just... We, we just wanted to get back get back and play them after last year and every, everybody was was working for it the whole summer so we came back and hit them hard yeah. and, I, and I saw you guys after the game there when uh, little shoots quarterback Charlie Vandenberg went down that end I saw you guys all go over there pat on the back that was that was that was a nice that was a nice thing that you guys did yep we I, I feel exactly what he's going through right now so all we can tell him is love he, he had a good game good game against us so we, all, all we can show is respect yeah right, sounds good thank you Liam yes you got it all right Brandon back to you Tyler, Luxembourg Casco looking to keep pace with FBL atop the NEC. They are at Freedom, and it's all Irish early on. Second quarter, Freedom setting up the screen for Noah Heinke. Look at the grab there. Brings it in with one hand, and off he goes all the way to the house. More where that came from. Here's Root Courts rolling left. Finds Carson Clausen. It's another Irish touchdown. They have a two-score lead. LC getting some back just before the half. Everybody follows the running back. Only problem is Max Rotsman still got it. Touchdown Spartans, LC comes back to win it by 10. Let's head to the FBA now. A great conference title race taking shape there with four really good teams separating themselves from the rest. Two of them going head to head tonight. Here's John Miller in Nina. Brandon, this one would go down to the wire. This was as good of an FBA conference game that I think you'll see all year. Appleton North undefeated in conference and on the season came into Nina High School to take on the Rockets who had one conference loss and only one loss on the year. Let's dive into the highlights. Stud quarterback Evan Van Evenhoven returned for the Rockets. He's been out since week one and he would march his team right down the field only to be stopped on fourth down inside the Lightning five yard line. Now Appleton North drives down the field and have to settle for a 27 yard field goal and it's blocked by Luke Young. And then after a short punt, the Lightning cap off a 25 yard drive with a one yard touchdown run as QB Luke Kreitzer barrels in six to nothing, extra point blocked by Rocket star Grant Dean. Now the Rockets offense gets some rocket fuel in the third quarter. Grant Dean doing what he does best, breaking tackles, making people miss. He runs on in from 16 yards out for the touchdown. Seven to six Nina after the extra point. Now let's jump to the end of the fourth quarter. Same score, Appleton North drives down the field, sets themselves up for the game-winning field goal with under 40 seconds left from 30 yards out. Ethan Nabrowski boots it and it's wide right. Nina wins seven to six. Here's head coach Steve Young after the game. And they came out and they really took it to us in the first half and just resilience. Our kids responded to adversity and we came out in the second half and we moved the ball, we scored and, and we took care of business. Next up for the Rockets, it doesn't get any easier. They have another FBA conference clash as they take on the reigning state champs, the Kimberly Papermakers, who sit at the top of the conference right now. But that'll do it from Nina High School. John Miller, NBC 26. Kimberly and Kikana, both winners tonight. So here's a look at the updated FBA standings. 
Some big ones coming up next week. Kimberly and Nina and Kakana Appleton North on Sports Showdown next Friday. The FRCC North shaping up to be a two-team race, just like last year, Bayport and West De Pier both out in front. Let's check in on the Phantoms, a crosstown rivalry tonight as they head across the Fox to take on De Pier. We'll pick it up in the second quarter. Stop me if you've heard this before. Duke Chauvald looking deep for Langdon Norgard. Every week those two make a play. That's a long touchdown to put West Pier up 21-0. Phantoms threatening again just before half. Chauvald's pass though, picked off. Derek Bunkelman with the INT. The Redbirds are fired up. We've got dueling interceptions here. Very next play, Easton Arntz. He's picked off by Carter Schmidt. That's all part of a convincing West De Pier win. They're five and one. Meanwhile, Bayport on the road at Green Bay Southwest. First quarter, Trojans applying some pressure, and it pays off. Carter Kalis loses the ball. Jace Prosky falls on it for the Southwest takeaway. Next Pirates possession, though, Kalis makes up for it, and then some running right on the option. And look at this, the late pitch to Blake Bookinger. That young man does the rest. 87-yard touchdown run. Bayport was busy tonight, folks. They win it 70 to nothing, their fourth straight win. Wyoiga Fremont off to a perfect start, play. looking to improve Real to 6-0 at Chiocton. Second half, Warhawks up seven, but the Chiefs on the attack. It's Blake Carton up the gut and to the house. That ties the game at 14. Wyoiga Fremont responds. Carter Birdshaw around the right edge. He'll score to put his guys back on top. Chiocton looking to answer with three minutes to play, going deep, but Chris Gunst is there for the pick, and that seals it. Wyoiga Fremont wins to improve the 6 and 0. A big one in the Northwoods Conference. Reigning champion Coleman hosting first place O'Connell Falls. Second half, here goes Alex Haynes. A big run up the right side to put the Panthers in scoring position, and a few plays later, they take advantage. Emmerich Scarbon to Wyatt Lochran. It's a big win for O'Connell Falls over their rival, and they stay on top of the Northwoods Conference. Let's head to Gillett. This is eight-player football, Gillett and Gibraltar. Early on, the Tigers going deep. A lot of throwing in this style of football. Brandon DeBach has it, and he scores it. Vikings respond. It's William Lessey, a part of their high-flying offense. A touchdown of his own, and unfortunately, no final score called in for that one. You can check NBC26.com.